Whoa, didn't see you there. I built this billion dollar electric scooter company in under an hour. How? Well, I just had to use Soricom's cellular platform and services to securely create and develop my own IoT solution. With these services, I was quickly and easily able to connect a front-end application to service millions of users around the globe. In this multi-part series, I'll show you how you can make your own electric IoT scooter. In this first part, I'll show you how you can set up a Raspberry Pi with GPS and a Xiaomi Mi Chia M365 electric scooter and connect to Soricom Air. Let's dive in. One of the reasons why electric scooter companies tend towards a Xiaomi scooter is because of its Bluetooth interface. In this section, we'll be connecting the Raspberry Pi to the scooter to get scooter information, like speed, battery level, and odometer data. So first, we have an RPi that we set up connected to the Wi-Fi. So all we gotta do to set up the Bluetooth and the SORCOM is to SSH into it. Now we update the packages on the RPi. Now we install Python and some packages to help us build the tools we need. Okay, now that that's finished, we need to install some packages to manage Bluetooth on the RPi. Now to control the scooter specifically, there's a Python package that we have to install on that too. So let's do that. So unfortunately, we forgot to install Git on this RPi. So we can't clone repositories from GitHub right now. So let's just do that. And now we can install the package again. Now for the script, we need to find the Bluetooth address of the scooter. Great. So we found the scooter with its MAC address. You have to save this MAC address. To test if it's working, we have a directory of examples we found on GitHub. Let's clone that and run some examples. Now we have to edit the example to use our scooter's MAC address. So since the RPi doesn't have a text editor, we have to install that too. I'm smart. And now we change the MAC address. Now it can run the Python file. Great, so the scooter started beeping and we successfully connected to the scooter. In this section, we'll be connecting our Raspberry Pi to Soricom Air. This connects the Raspberry Pi to the Soricom cellular network, which means that it won't be dropped from the internet no matter where it is in the world. So to begin, we open up a SSH prompt, or you can use a terminal that's built into the Raspberry Pi. We install some necessary packages from Soricom. Luckily, this is really easy because Soricom has provided us a script that does it. So we download it with the curl command, give it the necessary permissions, and run the script. It tells you to plug in the modem, but we haven't set up the SIM card yet, so let's do that now. This is the Soricom console, which will list all your cards that are active. So, since we have no cards active right now, we have to activate one. On the back of the Soricom card that comes in your kit, 
are your ICC ID numbers and PUK. Enter that into the prompt now. Now that we have the sim registered, you can see that our list now includes the new sim as offline because we haven't connected to the dongle yet. So before we plug in the modem, we slide open the cover and insert the sim card. Then we slide the cover back on and put it in the Raspberry Pi. When we plug it in, the modem is blinking green, which means it's connected to the Raspberry Pi, and our terminal says that the modem is detected. Setting up the modem takes a couple minutes, but it happens on its own. As you can see on the terminal, it says the setup's complete, and we can just reboot the Raspberry Pi and it should connect automatically. If you're having trouble having the dongle connect to Storacom's network, you might have to run an additional command. So after that, we can reboot again. After the dongle's been connected, the dongle's indicator light is a solid blue. And when we refresh the console, the session is now online. So now you've connected your Raspberry Pi to Soricon cellular network and can use Raspberry Pi anywhere without a Wi-Fi network. So now we're going to set up the GPS module. Although SARCOM shows you roughly where it is, it's based on the cellular towers it's connected to, so it's not really that accurate. So I found this cheap GPS module for the Raspberry Pi on Amazon, and I'll show you how to connect it in this next step. First we'll need to configure the Raspberry Pi to use the GPS module. We do this with the raspi config command. Select interfacing options, then serial, press no, and press yes for the serial port. I'll let you know that it's been enabled, and you can press OK. Now normally this will tell you to reboot, but since these are already my settings, I can finish without rebooting. Now we can connect this GPS module to our RPI using the header pins on the Raspberry Pi. To connect the GPS module, we put the red wire into the 3.3 volts pin, the black wire into the ground pin, which is the third one on the left from the bottom. The green one is the RX And the white one is the TX, which goes right next to the green wire. If you've connected it successfully, the GPS module will now have a blinking blue light, which means it's searching for a GPS signal. If it blinks red, it also means that it's found and locked onto a GPS signal. To test out the GPS module that we just connected, we'll run some more commands on the Raspberry Pi. First, we'll need to install some more packages for the Raspberry Pi to use the GPS module. Next, we can run the GPSD client. In the last command, this TTYS0 is the port where you connected the GPS module. This is what it was for my Raspberry Pi, but it might be different on yours. In our next command, we check to see if this connection is the right one. The last command printed out all this data, which is the raw data. We can run this next command, and it'll print it out nicely for us. As you can see, the GPS module has these data points, and it's finding our location correctly with latitude, longitude, and altitude. Now that we've set up the scooter, the GPS module, and SORCOM Air, we've done the bulk of the work in setting up for Billion Dollar Company. Join us next time where we use SORCOM Harvest and Lagoon to get scooter data and visualize it online. Is that it?